Hi, my name is Leon. I'm just bought the Mate 30 Pro and I would like to share with you what are the uh, local application and also the uh, Google Apps which I have actually installed after I do a side load of GMS service to this Mate 30 Pro. Now let's have a quick look at what are the applications I have actually installed. Uh, Google Play Store, okay. Um, well, this are uh, how it actually looks after I install the uh, Google Play Store. Now you notice that the screen is actually black in color because I actually enabled the dark mode. So this is something which um, Android 10, uh, a feature of Android 10 that you will be likely see and excited to see about. Okay, these are the play games. Now these are some of the games which I actually played. Okay, and I also use the day Google Map for my day-to-day. Uh, when I go to work and uh, sometimes I need to travel to some location in this year I actually travel one of the restaurant which I actually used to eat and this shows that the Google Maps is actually working perfectly fine um, Next, um, I probably want to show you uh, what are the apps from A to Z which I actually pre-installed over the phone so basically all the apps over here are 100% working fine so maybe I just do a very quick run through. Now Call of Duty is one of the games which is actually running perfectly well in this Mate 30 Pro. And um, of course I even this installed Discord and some other game as well. So things like Google Apps, if you notice that is Google Drive, Gmail, okay, and um, even Google News and some of the uh, Google application like photos, they are working 100%. And uh, some other banking applications like UOB, DBS Payla, and POSB is actually working perfectly. So I, I won't launch the application over here, but um, we are due to privacy issues and uh, I don't want to share my account balance over on the web itself. But well, they are actually running perfectly well. So I even had Netflix over here and you see the Netflix is running okay. Yeah. So you probably might not be able to see the image over here because I think there are some uh, copyright protection that allow this allow us from doing the videos recording over here. Alright. But of course for Netflix you you probably have to download to a lower version because the newer version apparently doesn't work well and uh, the only version I can recommend to install Netflix is version 3 so all the variant versions of version 3 is working perfectly well on the phone I even have Microsoft Office installed PowerPoint and Excel for my day-to-day -day use and I also installed Outlook and also using Google Exchange to connect to my office email so that I can read them offline. So there's no issue whether you install GMS or not. Um, you can basically run them perfectly. Okay. And uh, there are also some shopping application which I actually install on the phone. I think Taobao is one of them. Um, there are also applications like Shopee and Lazada which I actually pre-installed as well. So I, I think I can't live without them. And um, there are also some communication apps like uh, Skype and WeChat and WhatsApp. And I actually use it for my work and also use it for my social communication as well. Um, well, other than this, Spotify and some other common apps like Telegrams, um, they are working good. Okay, even the transport. Okay, I actually just installed this. Um, and I don't think there is any problem running this at all. Okay, if you look at it, probably I can choose what the bus nearby. Well, I stay around this area, so... You can see the maps is actually working perfectly okay. Okay. Um, even I can choose this, yeah. And part time is actually working perfectly okay. So well, um 
thank you for watching this video i hope you like it and uh, feel free to drop me a message and pm me and i get i'll be glad to get back to you whether this application can work successfully or not after install gms or without gms thank you for watching bye